A very good day to everybody. Welcome back to the Duma Hardware. My name is David. I'm the technical training facilitator for the group. We're based in White River in Mapumalanga. Um, I am a retired quantity surveyor. I've been in this industry, hardware and building material construction for 48 years now. And uh, what I do is I train our staff, educate them to become more competent, and then we share whatever we train them with, with you as our customers, so you can become uh, relaxed and more aware of what is available in the industry. What I have to discuss today is, for me as a person, extremely uh, sensitive. Sensitive in a manner that is actually of great concern to me. As you would know, a few years ago, you were never allowed to carry any sharp objects like a knife or a dagger, as we call it. Never allowed to own a sharpened sumurai set. Um, and so on, you know, people were um, fined and even sent to jail for for doing such a thing, you know, bearing, you know, people would go to jail if they were caught out with a dangerous weapon. Now, law has changed. Maybe the law is still there, but no one really cares about it. If you would walk into any mall or, or flea market or Chinese building, you may buy a knife or a dagger of any size. Uh, there's no record who took it, who bought it, and no one cares why you did and what the application comes to. You cannot buy it for self-defense because if the one and the other guy carries a gun, self-defense is worth nothing. So what I would like to share with you today is machetes and corn knives. Now, to me, this must be the most dangerous tool or weapon that any hardware store may sell. Like I said, there's no control over it. Size doesn't matter. Application doesn't matter. The age or the physical condition, psychological condition of the person who bought it doesn't matter. As long as they can make a sale, thank you and off you go. Now, what's been considered as a weapon is what we call a cutlass. Now this is a very, very serious weapon. Now this is another type. It's a machete, okay, with a different name on it. Cutlass, this is also a cutlass version of a knife. It's been sharpened right from the top, way back. The same with this one here. It's not sharp enough to cut meat with, but it's sharp enough to destroy whatever comes in its way. Now, this is main purpose. Now, this is a weapon. Now, why do you manufacture a weapon? You manufacture a weapon to defend yourself or to hurt someone else. Now, this is a, another type of machete. And this is the most common one you will see when you watch TV, movies, all of them are considered to be weapons. Easy to buy, it's very cheap. None of these are much more than a hundred rand a piece. It's not the best of quality steel, it's fairly strong, because what they say is it's, it's for slashing trees and, and whatever they may claim this works for. 
know now if you would compare this cane knife this is a cane knife sugar cane knife they use it also for banana tree when they trim it down by the end of the season or during the season and what is the difference between that as a machete as a cane knife okay this as a machete as a weapon there's exactly no difference in the way that you can apply that. Okay, now, to me, uh, there should be control. And I, or who I am, have no right to try to intervene. But you just look at me and turn away because it's accepted. Now, this is another type of a cane knife. Again, compared to what is considered to be a weapon, what is the difference between this being a cane knife and this being a weather, a, a weapon? This being a weapon. No difference. Another type of a cane knife. Banana tree slasher. The steel is much stronger, which means it's gonna last a little bit longer. Sharpens easy because not a very hard steel. The application is for 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 cane, sugar cane, and for banana trees, which both of them are fairly soft. Now, so it, the list continues. Cane knife. Another cane knife, which is. So close being a machete, which being a dangerous, very dangerous tool. Now the application, I'm sure from the manufacturer, is to suit their customers' needs. Now we are the suppliers, manufacturers, customers. Now we feel there should be control over it. We try when we if we have a customer being interested, we try to find out where it's going to and make sure there's not a kid, a youngster that buys it. Because the way it is now, he can be 10 years old, he's got 100 rand in his pocket, he can buy himself a weapon. No one's going to ask him what he's going to use it for. Now, I, th I think personally there should be control over this. Every time someone buys a machete, or a cane knife, or what they call a cutlass, someone should take note. We see this so many times on TV where it's been used. It's a dangerous tool, again, even if you use it all by yourself. It's sharp enough to cut, it's hard enough to cut off. It's not a great quality steel. It's been painted. This one has been buffed. Seems like there's a clear lacquer. This is his brother. Same thing, already rusted. So it's not the best of qualities of steel, but it does the job. So if you are in the market of buying one, please be careful. Once you've used it, put it away. It's ideal to splint wood for your firewood you have this at home it's, it's not heavy you could do it you have a, a nail somewhere and you could do it hide it away from the kids because kids love to play with knives and guns everybody that has a son has a little boy that's what they do that superman and spider-man and all those that carries weapons and they see them as their idols. So, again, if you have one, hide it away. If you are in the process of buying one, be very careful. It can hurt, it can kill. So that is it for today. Um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for being with us this few moments. Please follow us on all the media platforms. By the end of this video, you will see my 
personal email address, feel free to chat. Send me what you would like to see, what you don't want to see, any type of inquiry. Our website is very informative about the country for your company. Our website is very informative about the company, what we do, where we come from and where we're going. And we would like your input. So until next time, please be safe, be careful, and be aware.